Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm here talking to Chris Lee at the Power Vision booth. How are you doing, Chris? Great to see you, Patrick. Love your channel as well. Oh, thanks so much. Now, you guys have got a new product here at the show. I'm going to go ahead and call it a drone, but I know it's more than that. Why don't you tell us about this thing? What we've got here is the Power Vision Power Egg X. Yes, it is a drone, so it'll fly. It's got 25, 30 minute flight time, 4K camera, really great specs on it. Um, but it's also got some really versatile features that we can go through. Here is the three axis gimbal with a 4K 60 frames per second camera. It'll do 120 frames at 1080p full HD. Um, and as I say, great flight time, collision avoidance, everything that you'd expect. So this can turn into this, which is a waterproof drone that will actually take off and land on water. And it will also turn into this, which is a fully featured AI camera that you can use on the ground to take great video. So if we look at how it works, we've got literally a case here. You remove this and then you can just pop the legs off with a handle that you just literally attach here. Slide that back on and then you're ready to go with a handheld mode. I've flown this on water, I've thrown it through, flown it through rain. I, when I first got it, I'm from the UK, as you might be able to tell. I took it out, I took it off uh, in some pretty typical British weather, pouring with rain, strong winds, went through trees, landed in a flooded river, and then came back out of the uh, tree. So really stable, and like I say, great flight time. Now what's your intended market for this product? Because the capabilities obviously go far beyond sort of your run-of-the-mill aerial photography platform. Sure, yeah. I, there's, it's a great question, Patrick, and we've actually got a multitude of different target markets, and I'm sure there'll be plenty more that we find as, as we go on. But firstly, we're looking at people who may not necessarily already have a drone, and may not necessarily think that they're going to fly all the time, in which case they want the camera functionality as well. So you can sit there and you've got tracking features on there where you can do AI tracking, just double tap on the person that you want to track and it will sit there and track them for. So even a soccer mom, for example, can go out and use this to, to uh, take great video footage of a kid's playing football. Then we've got the drone enthusiasts, people like me and you, who um, would love to have the waterproof functionality and the ability to take off from water. Um, I mean, the specs are pretty awesome anyway, just from a drone perspective, but it's that added water functionality that really tips it over the edge and makes it a killer uh, feature. And then you've got the marine market, where people who are out in boats who want to take off from ribs or uh, yachts or, or whatever, and they want to take it off from the water so they don't endanger the people on the boat or they don't want to hit the rigging. And if you're into videography and you're flying over water, you want the safety factor of having your footage safe even if the drone goes into the water. So a multitude of different markets. And I think especially when we look at the vlogging market, we've got what we call voice sync technology in there. So when you're flying the drone, in the app, you can tap on it and you can actually talk into your phone or if you're wearing headphones, it'll record the audio. So you can do a voiceover while you're flying so you don't have to come back and edit and do the voiceover afterwards. So we think that's a bit of a killer feature as well. So lots of different target markets and it's a very versatile product and I think it'll fit into many different demographics, like I say, that I don't think we've thought of. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, I love the fact you can voice over your own flight while you're doing it. So, all right, the crucial question everybody wants to know with a new product like this is when's it going to come out and what's it going to cost? So we think it's a fantastic price point for the base unit with everything that you need to have the AI camera and the actual drone itself is 899 US dollars. It's available now. And if you want the full waterproof kit with an extra battery, it's a 1249 US retail price. I think I want the water kit with the, with the battery because from what I understand, Oregon's weather is a lot like the UK's yeah, weather. Uh, Oregon is, uh, yeah, very much like the UK. Plenty of water around there. So you and me both, Patrick, I think we both need the waterproof one. All right. Well, thanks so much for giving us a look. It's a cool piece of tech. It's a real pleasure, Patrick, and really good to see you again. Absolutely. And from CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off. Thanks again, Chris. That's great. Appreciate it.